Here we have Snapchat, Snapchat stock, Snap down 20%. This is the after hours trading. They reported earnings today, year over year revenues down 4%. And I think they're down or they reported two cent negative EPS, but getting crushed. Remember it, it ran up and participated with the AI move we had recently, but now it's giving it all back, most of it. Let's look at the fundamentals. I have an updated worksheet and let's look at Snapchat. It has a peg price of $1.89. So if, if we see it below $1.89, that's the buy price. And then $6.48 for next year. And what is it at? Around 10. So it still has room to fall because it only makes it has an earnings yield of 0.6 percent it only makes or is expected to make seven cents this year and i guess they're expecting a positive fourth quarter next year it makes 24 cents and so on but still if the growth pans out as expected they did beat earnings technically they're supposed to lose four cents they lost two cents then Snapchat could be somewhere between $30 and $60 over the next five years. Wouldn't that be fantastic? So if Snapchat is going to be a $40 or $50 stock potentially in the future, then of course we want it to go as low as possible because that's how you make money. If Snapchat's going to be a $50 stock, obviously not today, overnight. But over time, potentially five years, let's just, you know, make some. Let's just pretend that's five years in the future. And it's just going to go over time, chug along. It has to grow its earnings. It has to make. Make a profit because that's how a business is supposed to work. Price to cash flow a little high. Still has a negative PE price to sales three. If we can see it in the price to sales of two, that would be fantastic. Price to sales of two statistically and historically is a fast, fantastic entry. So we'll see where they want to take it. I would love to see it below $8 below somewhere between five and six would be ideal because if I can get it for five and six and it goes to 50, that's a 10 bagger. Still think good things will happen. Uh, North America is only 25% of their activity, so it is a global play. We'll see, but right now it's down 20%, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they take it down even lower than 20%. If we look at the long-term chart, you know, maybe they take it down six, seven bucks Maybe the test lows one day. They only make seven cents a share. So if something bad in the economy, if we slow down, if interest rates go higher, maybe this week, you know, bad bad news, selling pressure, why not? That's how business doesn't generate a lot of cash flow. That's all I got for now. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Cheers.